Now this thing's cool. This is a carbide lantern. And back in the old days, they used to wear these, the coal miners did, up on their helmets. And there's a flame that came out of here, and this is how they could see deep down in the mine shafts. Well, I use carbide in my class all the time. And I was visiting my grandma, and I saw this on the counter, and I said, is that a carbide lantern? She said, yeah, her dad used this. All right, now, her dad used this at the Pioneer Coal Mine in Savory, Wyoming, which is in Southwest Wyoming. His name was Harry Moore, and um, he used it in about 1938. And this thing hasn't been lit up since 1938. So I said, can I take that? I've got carbide to use it all the time in science demonstrations. I'll clean it up and I'll see if I can get this thing lit. It's actually a very simple contraption. So you've got a reflective mirror and then you've got a little flint and steel to get a spark. On the top, there's a, a space to put water in. And then this knob here, this adjusts the amount of water that drips down into the bottom. And you can see this has been sitting for a long time and it's caked full of calcium hydroxide that's plugged up all the working parts inside of there. So let's talk about calcium carbide. That's the little chunks of calcium carbide. And when calcium carbide meets water, it makes acetylene gas and calcium hydroxide. You can see the gas bubbling up. So acetylene gas is highly combustible and it just blows up on the tabletop here. You can see the reaction of acetylene gas with oxygen. So we're making carbon dioxide and water in this reaction. And this is what's gonna go on inside the lantern. Now what we don't wanna have happen is to have it blow up. And when I got a hold of the lamp from grandma, it didn't work. Um, it was plugged up and so I decided to take all the parts and pieces and soak them in some vinegar. Now what the vinegar does is it reacts. You can see the is a net ionic equation for those of you that, that care. And essentially what we're doing is we're transforming that calcium hydroxide and the vinegar. They're just combining to make water so it dissolves all those chunks. And um, I got the, the top part soaked up pretty well here. So I was able to fill it with water. And then I turned the dial. I wasn't sure if it would work or not, but I turned the dial and here we go. It drips, so you can see how that water drips down into the canister in the bottom. And then once it's lit, that acetylene gas comes up through the top and is gonna make a flame out of the end. The trouble was, after several attempts, I still couldn't get it to work. So I got out the big guns and I got out some 3 molar hydrochloric acid to soak that in hoping it'd get that pinhole wide open and you can see it just bubbling like crazy. You can already smell it. Turn it on. Watch for smoke. It worked! Oh my gosh, look at this. It's been 70 years since this was on, would be my great grandpa's helmet in the coal mine up here like this. And I've got it, I've brought it back to life with some carbide, some hydrochloric acid. I've always wanted to see one of these work. This is incredible. That acetylene gas is coming out the front here. Look how bright that is in the camera. The acetylene gas is coming out the front and then we lit it. And I think if I turn this up, the flame should... I never would have imagined it was so bright. This is amazing. Look at this. We've resurrected. It's hot down here, so that reaction down here is hot. That gas is coming up and it's sneaking right out of the end here. Wow, I can't believe it. Science brings history back to life. Turn and it on. Smell it. Yeah. Yeah, hold it there in the front, we'll see. It's on. Yeah, that's about it. 
It was so exciting to hand that carbide lantern back to Granny and see the smile on her face and hear her talk about the memories of her dad for hours afterwards. You know, that's one of the great things about science. The other great things about science are all over on the screen here. Click on them to learn more or always come on over to BealScience.com and do some more learning with me. Thanks for watching.